Hey guys, what's up? I am here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Gundam Build Divers Re-Rise, which is on episode 9. Now, this episode right here shows the mission of some of what Gundam, what the Build Divers are doing, but apparently I'll let you guys know that Hiroto, he was kind of an idiot in this episode, honestly, but I think that it needs to show about that idiocy just to show that he may have to develop. So, if anything else, um... Let's just get this started. We have to it that everybody is just getting ready for the mission while Hiroto is taking care of some personal stuff alone at home. And we see to it that the mission starts off with Hiroto diving in alone and Freddy decides to come along with him to see his battles up close. And we see to it that um, his teammates were concerned about his well-being because him having to dive in there even though he has experience as a fighter and a build and a builder in terms of like fighting experience of course <laughs> forgive me um very cold we see to it that he comes at a disadvantage against the enemy due to the fact that it's more hard to destroy or to defeat and we get to see a backstory about Hiroto taking on a dangerous enemy that he managed to take down in the past but even though he took it down, it did not make someone he cared about that he might have hanged out with in the, in the Bill Divers world happy. And we see to it that Hiroto was knocked out and was awakened by Freddy. And of course, we see to it that May managed to save his butt before he was going to get himself killed. And we see to it that he decides to get help from May, from Kazami, and Par because he can't do this alone. But he gives Par a dangerous mission to become a decoy knowing that he could do it. Of course, Par will be the one to dive in very, very deep to a point where that enemy that the build divers are trying to take out will make him float, float, st go afloat above the sea or the place they are fighting at. And eventually, thanks to their help together, they manage to take it down and destroy it. And of course, he also gives his reluctant thanks or something, which I go like, Think in my mind, yo man, you're not an island. You have to understand that you are a man and sometimes a man can't do things alone even if he has the skills or strength to beat it. And if you're going to do things right, you got to do it together as a team, you know? And aside from that, um, they get attacked by by the same enemy, which is Seltzam, and Hiroto almost got himself killed when he tried to solo the guy himself. But Mei took on a blaster that was meant to be a one-hit kill. But the armor that she was wearing was actually not her real armor. It was actually something of her true form, and it's called an L Diver she's wearing, you know? And we see to it that Hiroto calls her an L Diver. And we get a reminder of what the L Diver is. And the L Diver is something that a bunch of things made up due to the massive amount of data in the, on the, build, in the build Diver's world, you know? That kind of thing. So all I can really tell you in this episode is just the story, another story mission which Hiroto got himself killed, but May saves him. Hiroto decides to use, decides to ask his teammates for help, and he will later on work together to defeat the monster that kicked it, kicked his butt way harder than usual. So yeah, don't know what's about to happen next for the little for the guy, but the story missions, especially that Salt Zam being around, it's gonna be one hell of a fight. That's for sure. Sorry for my curse right there. But, so until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero, people. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot toot!